Welcome back to Silver Knight Comics. Today I'm talking about a simple one-off featuring you know, an Incredible Hulk featuring Doc Sampson. Uh, warning, the Hulk does not appear in this issue, which I think it was alright. I actually, after reading this, I was thinking that they should have done more on Doc Sampson, you know, and having some stories about, or maybe his own series about him and altercations or things that he had with other patients in the past like he does with this character here uh crazy um aka leslie ann shape i thought that you know it was good it was interesting it's a good you know story overall that peter david wrote here and you know i've i've actually read this one twice now and it still sticks with me it has a good sort of um what do you want to say uh moral to the story at the end of it so I don't know if I want to quite spoil it, just in case you guys want to read it, but it's definitely a twist at the end. Uh, the classic sort of, uh, let's see, what is this, 80s? 19, just late 80s, I think? Oh no, it's actually early. Early 1991. Anyways, yeah, you got the classic sort of art style. Um, and it's, it's a good one-shot that fits right in when the Hulk gets abducted by the Pantheon. So it doesn't, you know, and so if you're reading this, like it does, you know, this doesn't sort of throw you off too much about what's going on. It continues and then it's a break between that, um, the Pantheon and where an Incredible Hulk gets captured and then afterwards. So this is a good sort of one shot in between. One thing that I thought was kind of interesting or funny maybe was I noticed that if you look at Crazy 8 in this panel here, she actually kind of looks like Betty over here. I was like, oh, I find the art was, you know, it was like they look very similar. They just draw the woman the same. I was, thought that was kind of funny that uh, they looked the same. Maybe they were sisters uh, at birth. They got separated, but I just thought that was kind of funny that they looked the same. But as I was saying, you know, this, it leaves off um, on the previous issue just as the Incredible Hulk got kidnapped, which is hard to believe, but then you slide over into his Doc Sampson's story with Crazy 8 and his history. I just thought overall, like, Crazy 8 made a good anti-hero sort of in, uh, character, which could have maybe had her own short little mini-series. You, you see her here fighting Wonder Man, you know, holding her own against him. So clearly she was pretty tough. But yeah, you get to see this and then it all, the, their whole backstory evolves or how it evolved to this point and then we jump back to present time but like i said is i don't necessarily know if i want to give away the twist ending because i think it's uh has to do with this widow here though over here of this person that crazy eight killed so uh it's quite interesting so yeah definitely a good one shot if you're out there you know looking for an incredible hulk to read or something like that and also it wouldn't be expensive you could probably find this in the dollar bin so it's probably a pretty good simple read yeah so i figured i like this story why not talk about because usually most of the time you know i guess channels would be talking about comics with bigger uh, characters first appearances stuff like that and i thought this was a good issue and a good read and it's a good value only like a buck or two maybe so uh, I figured, why not do a video on it? So hopefully you guys check that out. And until next time, folks, how about some heavy reading?